if you're somebody that's had big goals and you always talk about doing things, I'm gonna lose the weight, I'm gonna follow through, I'm gonna make it happen, and you say it over and over again, but you can tell there's a part of you that doesn't trust yourself, here's what I want you to do. Start small, start really small, and repair that relationship with yourself. But there's negative thinking, positive thinking, and then there's accurate thinking. And when you hear those things, negative thinking, positive thinking, accurate thinking, you would think that positive thinking would be the way to be. But the important question to ask is, what actually happened? So most of us are triggered from our past, or we have something that happened to us, and the emotions get involved, and you know, this ruined me, and this is the worst thing, but we have to ask ourselves, what actually happened? Somebody said something that I didn't 100% agree with. Something didn't go the way that I thought it would. I had big expectations. And so we really need to be clear and be accurate. And if you don't know what the ultimate success formula is, what's really going on? You know, what's actually happening here? You know, what's going on? And then the second step is to have a vision. So most people have a vision for what they want, but first step is see it for how it actually is. Second step is see it how you want it. And the third step is make it how you want it. Now, and it comes to accurate thinking. It's really important when we write down goals. It's really important when we get, even in our own personal journal, it's really important not to write down these huge things like I'm gonna make a billion dollars and, and all of that. Some people can write that down. Most people cannot. Most people cannot manifest what they want because when they say something that they're gonna do, Imagine that you have these two selves. You have your inner self, like your subconscious, and then you have your external self. And so you've got these two selves. If your conscious mind is always making these big promises internally and you don't follow through, internally, it's like this part of you starts to say, you know what, they always say that. And you begin to not trust yourself. And so always seek to be accurate in your thinking. It's not good to go over. It's not good to go under, to hit under your goals. It's great to be accurate. And when you can get in the habit of having these projections in your business, these projections in your life, eventually you build so much trust with yourself, what you say becomes law in the universe. And when like your unconscious mind connects with those words that you say, it's like, man, he's gonna actually do it. There's so much trust, the same part of your mind that makes your heart beat 100,000 times a day, you don't even think about it. Your conscious mind says it and then you just do it. But if you always say that you're gonna do it and you never follow through, that part of you that connects with the infinite, infinite your subconscious mind, your antenna, the broadcast, the frequency, the, the energy that you put out to the world, it's gonna become weaker and weaker and weaker. And so if you're somebody that's had big goals and you always talk about doing things, I'm gonna lose the weight, I'm gonna follow through, I'm gonna make it happen, and you say it over and over again, but you can tell there's a part of you that doesn't trust yourself, here's what I want you to do. Start small, start really small and repair that relationship with yourself. And now there's this part of me that sees, I say I'm gonna do something and then I do it. And I begin to repair that relationship with myself. Confidence comes from putting yourself on the line, from one being consistent, that's how you build confidence. If you have confidence in, you know, this chair is not gonna fall apart. If I sit on this chair and five times out of 10, I fall on the ground, I have very little confidence in that chair. But if a thousand percent of the time that I sit on this chair, I know there's no such thing as a thousand percent, but if I sit on this chair every time, I don't even think about it, I'm confident that it's gonna support me. And so when we put ourselves on the line, we've gotta start small. And I've had so many times in my own life that I broke promises to myself. I broke my own heart. I wasn't, I didn't have a good rapport or a good relationship with myself because I was constantly lying to myself about what I wanted, you know, why I wanted it, what it took to get it. And then when it didn't happen, I got mad at other people and mad at myself. But really it was just because I wasn't honest with myself. And so you might have to repair that relationship with yourself. And whether it's in journaling or meditation or just having a good relationship with anybody requires you to one, spend time with them and two, to keep your word. So as you write down your goals and your view, your weeks and your months and everything that you want, you know, it's great to think 10X and it's great to be a big thinker, but first let's see it how it is. Let's be accurate. And there's lead indicators and there's lag indicators. Don't get them mixed up. 
there's consistent things that we need to do every day. You know, you lay this brick as perfectly as the brick can be laid and pretty soon you will have a wall. You can use that wall to build more walls and higher walls and extra floors and then you can build a castle in the sky, anything that you want.